Dayton, Ohio was and remains one of the largest cities in the nation's 17th state. Ranking at sixth in population within Ohio's borders, it has seen much change in population, opportunity, and atmosphere. This is What Happened to Dayton, Ohio. The story of Dayton begins with its establishment in 1796, seven years before Ohio even became a state. Much of its early economic history would be fueled by becoming a stop on the Miami Erie Canal, which connected the Great Lakes to the Ohio River. Though eventually canals would fall out of favor to railroads, it wouldn't stop the city from prospering in the decades to come. Most famously, the city would be where the cash register company NCR began in the 1880s and where the Wright brothers were from. The Wright brothers built the first functioning airplane in the early 1900s in Dayton. Though the first flight of their Dayton-built Wright Flyer would take place in North Carolina, it was their work in Dayton that would provide Ohio one of its taglines, known as the birthplace of aviation. Throughout the first half of the 20th century, the city would steadily grow from around 85,000 in 1900 to over 243,000 in 1950. Dayton, with its centralized location in the eastern United States, would become well established in manufacturing for NCR, med paper, and in materials for World War II. Though most Rust Belt cities would peak in the 1950 census, Dayton wouldn't peak until 1960 at just over 262,000. It would be from this point forward that the city would begin its long decline to the nearly half of this number that live there today. Decline of manufacturing, suburbanization, and many of the typical Rust Belt decline factors would hit Dayton hard, but some of the hardest blows wouldn't happen until more recently. In 2001, Med Paper, after over 150 years in Dayton, would merge with West Vaco and leave, unemploying hundreds. In 2009, NCR, after 125 years in Dayton, would also leave, unemploying hundreds more. The metropolitan area's population had held relatively steady up until the 2000s decade. However, it would lose nearly 50,000 during this period. Today, the city's top employers consist of jobs in healthcare, education, and government. Though two of the region's signature employers are gone, the presence of the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base just outside the city has helped to keep the city and the region alive. It provides 30,000 jobs and billions in spending for the area. The city and surrounding area also has several colleges, including the University of Dayton, Wright State, and several others. The National Museum of the United States Air Force, just outside of the city, is one of the largest museums in the world, serving as a major tourist destination and draws over one million visitors a year to the area as well. Dayton also hosts the NCAA Tournament's first four contests every year. Though Dayton's decline has been similar to many cities in its region, it has been able to re-emerge and reinvent itself in the more modern and service-oriented economy of today. Its decline has largely leveled off during the last decade, only losing around 3,000 residents in the 2010s. Its economic transition and the United States Air Force's presence have helped to give the city more favorable economic ratings recently. A city in transition, Dayton's future will depend on how well it can grow in the newer industries. Thank you for watching.